When we're not aligned with our soul, when we're not aligned with our soul's purpose, we're out of alignment. And when we're out of alignment with the highest part of ourself, we then find ourselves out of alignment in other areas of our life. We can be out of alignment with our relationships, out of alignment with our health, out of alignment with our finances, out of alignment with our work in the world. So when we notice that there's something going on in our life, that doesn't feel like it's in alignment. And when I say in alignment, what I'm talking about is our thoughts, our feelings, and our behaviors are all congruent with our inner sensing. Our thoughts, our feelings, and our behaviors are all lined up with what feels natural inside of ourselves. And I'll give you an example of what it looks like when you're out of alignment. I was out of alignment when I was marching off to work at the Ritz Carlton because I was earning a paycheck from there but I knew deep down inside of myself that I didn't really want to be doing that. It wasn't the fault of anybody there. The people there are incredible and smart and best in class and lovely. It had nothing to do with them. It had nothing to do with really the role that I was in. It wasn't about a marketing role or uh, a different kind of a role that maybe I could have done there. What it was about was that my soul was calling me to something else. And when I resisted my soul's call to something else, then other things started to break down in my life. And for me, my health started to break down. I ended up getting a frozen shoulder. And so that led me to make quite a few changes in my life, but the changes weren't big enough. So then I had an experience with breast cancer because I was still not in harmony with the highest part of my knowing, the highest part of my wisdom. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please click like and subscribe. And in some future videos, we will talk about how to get into alignment with the highest part of you.